Brooks Surname Meaning and History, presented by COADB.com, where we offer affordable genealogy research. Surname Meaning. It is an English topographic surname denoting someone who lived by a brook, stream, or low marsh ground derived from the English word brock or brook. It can also be a habitational surname denoting a person from any of the various places named with this word, such as Brook in County Kent, England, and Brook in County Norfolk, England. Early bears included Alice de la Brook in England in 1273, Lawrence Del Brook in England in 1273, and William Addabrook in Somerset, England in 1327. Noble titles held included the Brooks Baronetcy of York, a title created in 1676 for Sir John Brooks, who later became a member of Parliament for Borough Bridge. He was the son of James Brooks of Allenthorpe, who was merchant and a Lord Mayor of York. And he was succeeded in the baronetcy by his son, Sir James Brooks, and the title became extinct on the death of Sir Joe Brooks, the third baronet. He died a lunatic in 1770. The Brook Baronetcy of Norton Priory in the county of Chester was created in the Baronetage of England in 1662 for Sir Henry Brook, a colonel in the Parliamentary Army and member uh, for Cheshire, member of Parliament for Cheshire during the Commonwealth. He was the son of Sir Richard Brook and the great grandson of Richard Brook, who purchased Norton Priory in 1545. And here we see a list of the baronets all the way through the 11th baronet who died in 2012. On this slide we see on the left Sir Richard Brooks, second baronet. He served as High Sheriff of Cheshire in 1667. In the middle we see Sir Richard Brooke, fifth baronet, who was High Sheriff in 1719. And on the right we see Sir Richard Brooke, sixth baronet, High Sheriff of Cheshire in 1817. Here we see the family estate of Runcorn Mansion. The Brook Baronetcy of Colebrook was created in the Baronetage of Ireland in 1764 for Sir Arthur Brook, who represented Maryborough in the Irish House of Commons and was son of Henry Brook, who was son of Thomas Brook, who was son of Sir Basil Brook, born 1576, seen here an iron founder and royalist conspirator, and he in turn was the son of John Brook, who was the son of Sir Robert Brook, who died in 1558, an English judge, politician, and owner of the manor of Madley, and we see Madley Court here, as well as the family estate of Colebrook Park. The Brook Baronetcy of Colebrook, second creation, was made in 1822 for Henry Brook, nephew of the first baronet. The Brook Baronetcy of Manchester in the county of Lancaster was created in the Baronetage of the United Kingdom in 1886 for Sir William Cunliffe Brooks, seen here, a banker who sat as a member of Parliament for Cheshire and was the son of Samuel Brooks, a wealthy cotton manufacturer and banker from Manchester. The Brooks Baronetcy of Crawshaw Hall and Watton House was created in the Baronetage of the United Kingdom in 1891 for Sir Thomas Brooks, who was High Sheriff of Lancashire. And in 1892, he was elevated to the peerage of the United Kingdom as Baron Crawshaw. And we see him here. As well as the family estates of Crawshaw Hall. The Brook Baronetcy of Armitage Bridge in Huddersfield in the county of York was created in 1899 for Sir Thomas Brook, seen here, a Deputy Lieutenant Justice of the Peace and son of Thomas Brook of Northgate House in Yorkshire, which we see here. Edward Brook, who was born around the year 1415, was the son of Thomas Brook and Joan Bray Brook, a, the fifth Baroness of Cobham. And as such, he became the sixth Baron Cobham. And on this slide, we see George Brook, the ninth Baron, a soldier and member of the Privy Council who died in 1558. In the middle, we see the 10th Baron, William Brook. And on the right, we see the 11th Baron, Henry Brook, 
who died in 1618 and was implicated in the plot against King James I of England. Here we see the family estate of Cobham Hall, as well as Cooling Castle. This is actually only the gatehouse. Landed gentry families included Brook of Church Minshaw, seated at the Bridge House, seen here, represented in the 19th century by Henry Brook. He was a deputy lieutenant and high sheriff. Brook of Meer, or Meer Hall in County Cheshire, England. They descended from Sir Peter Brook, who died in 1685. He was an English politician who sat in the House of Commons. Brook of Hanford in County Cheshire. Brook of Houghton Hall in County Shropshire, England, represented in the 19th century by the Reverend John Brook. Brook of Hinton Abbey in County Somerset in England. And one member of this family was Robert Brook, born 1744, a lieutenant colonel in the Army of Bengal and governor of the island of St. Helena. Brook of Sibton Park in County Suffolk, England, represented in the 19th century by John William Brook, a Justice of the Peace Deputy Lieutenant and Barrister at Law and High Sheriff. Brook of Ufford Place in County Suffolk, England, represented in the 19th century by Francis Caper Brook. They descended from Reginald Brook of Aspel and Suffolk, who was the second son of Sir Thomas Brook. Brook of Dromavana, and they were seated at Tanny Hill House in County Dublin, Ireland. They were represented in the 19th century by the Right Honorable William Brook. Brooks of Barlow Hall in Manchester in England and of Grosvenor Square in London. His family was represented in the 19th century by William Cunliffe Brooks, seen here, born 1819. Brooks of Flitwick Manor in County Bedford, England. They were represented in the 19th century by John Hatfield Brooks, a major in the 19th Hussars, a Justice of the Peace, and a Deputy Lieutenant. Brook of Ardeen in County Wicklow in Ireland, represented in the 19th century by Francis Theophilus Brook, a Justice of the Peace, Deputy Lieutenant, and... Lieutenant in the Royal Navy. Lieutenant General Sir Arthur Brook, under Notables, born 1772, an Irish officer in the British Army during the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. Margaret Brook, who died in 1667. She was an English courtier during the reign of King Charles II, considered one of the Windsor beauties, as well as a mistress of the future King James II of England. Zachary Brooks, born 1716, was an English academic clergyman and Lady Margaret's Professor of Divinity at the University of Cambridge. William Brooke, born 1694, of Woodhouse, a mayor of Doncaster. Jonathan Brooks, born 1775, rector and archdeacon of Liverpool. Joshua Brooks, born 1754, was an English, was an Anglican divine and English eccentric. Joshua Brooks, born 1761, was a British anatomist and naturalist. And lastly, Sir James Brooke, born 1803, was a British soldier and adventurer who founded the Raj of Sarawak in Borneo. Early settlers included Cuthbert Brooks, James Brooks, Sybil Brooks, Thomas Brooks, and William Brooks, who came to Virginia in 1623. Robert and Elias Brooke came to New England in 1634, and Richard and Elizabeth Brooke arrived in Maryland in 1637. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, where we offer genealogy research services. Link in the description. Thank you very much.